I have a Google Sheet here with information from several different departments compiled together in one Google Sheet. And what I want to do is be able to create separate sheets or tabs on the bottom here that have the information for each department separated out. And I want it to be automatic so if anything's added to this main sheet, it will also go to the sheets in the bottom. And the way that we can do this is with a filter function, so filter formula. And just to show you what that looks like, it is the equals filter and then it asks for range conditions. So we're going to basically say filter out all this data whenever the department is ABC, something like that. But in order to make this work a little more easily, to like make the formulas easier and everything easier, I want to show you a couple things you can do to simplify this and make it easier to create all of the separate tabs. We're going to start off by creating what are called named ranges. If you remember that formula, the, in the filter format, we have this requirement for the range. So in other words, where all the data is coming from and the condition. And we're going to be looking at that department column for the condition. So instead of referencing a cell and a different sheet, we're going to name the ranges and make it easier. Named ranges is a function found under the data tool. And this is a really helpful function. So to start off, we're going to select all the data that we want to filter out. So that's columns A, B, C, and D for me. Go to data and go to named ranges. Just to simplify, I'm going to call this range data. This is where all the information I want to filter out is. And I'm going to make sure that the cells are the correct cells. And for me, it's columns A through D. And I'll click done. The next name range I want to create is for what I want to filter by my condition, which in this case is the department. So I'm going to go ahead and select that department column, click add a range. And just for simplicity, I'm going to call it DEP DEP instead of writing out all of department. Check that I have the right range and it's column B here and click done. And the last thing I'm going to want to do is to create a named range for the headers, because when I filter out the information, the headers won't come over. So I'm going to bring them over separately. So I'll select the header row or rows, whatever you have. Click Add Range. I'm going to call this headers. Make sure it's the correct range, um, all of row one, and click Done. Now that I have those three named ranges set up, I can go ahead and create my first sheet and I'm going to do department ABC. So I'll click the plus sign on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and rename it right away to sheet to ABC. And then the first thing I'm going to do is put ABC in column A cell one, because I'm going to use this in my formula. So I want it to be actually a part of the sheet. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my headers. I'm going to use the query function to do that. So I'm just going to type query parentheses, start to type headers. And as I start typing a named range, it's going to give me this suggestion here with a little green icon. I can click on it to populate that and my headers come in. My filter then will start in B2, cell B2. So I'm going to make my filter formula here. So filter, and I'm going to start with a range. And if you remember, we use the named range data. So as I start typing data, it will give me the suggestion with a green icon here. Click on it to populate it. And now my condition is I only want to filter out things. I want to get all the information where the department, again, that named range I made, is equal to what I put in cell A1. So when I enter that information, I'm going to automatically see a dynamic list of filtered information from my all data sheet. And this formula looks so simple because of the named ranges. Otherwise, we'd have to have a lot of extra stuff and make sure we type things right and select things correctly. This just makes it a lot easier. So once we get one of our sheets exactly how we want it, the great thing also about the way we set this up is to make my next sheet, so department JKL, I can duplicate this one can change the value in A1 and my whole sheet will update because it's using this A1 value in the formula. No need to go in and modify the formula. No need to go in and change what it's referencing. Automatically updates. Can rename my sheet to that. Done. And again, 
make the change one more time for my last department group and done. Now the great thing about this filter formula is again it is dynamic so if any information is added within the named range I put here so columns A through D all of the rows it will also appear in these filter tabs. So this is a great way to set up a sheet where it brings the relevant information to specific audiences for example so somebody in department ABC doesn't have to worry about everyone else's data they can come right here. Um, so this can be a really useful tool.